Windpay Fantasy Novels presents Stellar Transformations, Zing Ken Bian. Author I Eat Tomatoes, Wo Chi Shi Hong Shi, Translators He Man, Rai Lane, Thunderhill. Please support the author in the link below. Book 2 Meteoric Tear. Chapter 18 Stratagems, Part 1. The Chu Kingdom is the number one kingdom on the Qian Long Continent. At the moment, the clan heads of Qin Clan and the Shangguan Clan among the four big clans are in a secluded small courtyard. Gindu is sitting at a stone table with a calm expression on his face. Xuyuan standing by his side is also waiting calmly. Ha ha! Brother Kinder. Long time no see. A white-haired old man walks to him in strides. This old man is unexpectedly wearing a pair of gold earrings. His eyes are very cold and sinister. However, at this moment they are full of enthusiasm. Ginda stands up, points to one side and says smilingly, Brother Shangguan, please sit down. Shangguan Hong the Chu Kingdom's North Vanquishing Prince, controls the two northern region counties. At the moment, there are four people in the courtyard including Kinder and Xuyuan. The other two people are Shang Hong and his subordinate Zhuang Jun. However, outside the courtyard, a large number of experts are secretly guarding it. Brother Kinder, why do you look for an old man like me this time? Only after slightly fixing his silver hair does Shang Wen Hong sit down. Obviously he cares a lot about his own hair. His subordinate Zhuang Jun stands behind him. Kinder says smilingly, I'm not going to beat round the bush. Please help me. We'll seize the Chu Kingdom together. Shang Wen Hong is startled. He did not think that Kinder would be so straightforward even though he has already guessed why Kinder secretly meets him this time. Shang Wen Hong then bursts out laughing, Brother Kinder, you shouldn't joke like this. This can cause you to lose your head. I can act as if I've never heard about this matter. Kinder slowly shakes his head and says, I ask you, You'll do it or not? Shang Wen Hong, however, does not reply. Only after pondering for a long time does he raise his head and ask, even if we join forces, how much certainty will you have? 80%, says Kinder indifferently. But Shang Wen Hong says laughingly, Brother Kinder, don't fool me. That Mu clan has 600,000 troops. The four western region counties have even more than that, 800,000 troops. They amount to 1,400,000 troops. My two northern region counties only have 400,000 troops altogether and yours have no more than 600,000. So how can you be 80% certain? I want to destroy the Xiang clan so I can only show 600,000 troops, says Kinder with a smile. Shang Wen Hong's eyes glitter, oh? It seems brother Kinder also has quite a lot of troops in secret. But the Xiang clan and the Mu clan have 1,400,000 troops together. How many troops do you have in secret that you dare to say you're 80 certain? Moreover, when your troops secretly increased, how could this have escaped the detection of the Xiang clan's intelligence service? Shang Wen Hong is obviously very unconvinced. I still have 200,000 troops in secret. Ginda says with a smile. This brings the total amount to 800,000 troops. My fierce tiger core is only 50,000 strong but in terms of real offensive power it is equal to 200,000 to 300,000 troops. Shang Wen Hong's eyes brighten. He certainly knows how formidable the fierce tiger core is. 
he calculates in his mind at once then says with a smile, if we only talk about quality then your three eastern region counties army is the best. If you really have 200,000 troops in secret then we'll still have some hope. But according to what I know, 200,000 troops must be used to threaten the bandits in the Blackwater mountain range. Otherwise, those bandits will wreak havoc on the three eastern region counties and plunge your den into chaos. Ginda says in a totally unconcerned manner, you needn't worry about this. They're merely bandits. It's hard to exterminate them because the Black Quarter mountain range is so vast, but the thing is, the Black Quarter mountain range's bandits are no more than bandits. We only need to negotiate with them and give them some benefits, they will quiet down. Ginda's eyes suddenly brighten, so, my entire army can attack. You must know that my three eastern region counties are next to the wilderness and my army often trains here. Compared to the attack of the wilderness's demonic beasts, the army of the four western region counties, which hasn't fought a real battle for several decades to 100 years, means absolutely nothing. Ginda is very confident. Shangguan Hong nods his confirmation. Indeed, among the armies of the four big clans, the three eastern region counties army is definitely the strongest in terms of fighting power. The reason for this is that the three eastern region counties army is based in the immense wilderness and often fights the wilderness's ferocious beasts so its troops have really experienced bloodshed. In contrast, the armies of the Xiang clan, the Mu clan and the Shangguan clan have never seen real action for several decades to 100 years. Shangguan Hong keeps thinking non-stop. After a while he raises his head and says, then how am I going to benefit from this? How can you assure me that you won't destroy me after destroying the Xiang clan? Ginda smiles slightly, very simple. Among the four western region counties, the two counties next to the ocean in the north will go to you. Together with your two original counties, you'll have four counties in total. None of these four counties is separate from the rest and, moreover, the ocean is behind them. You'll have these four counties and have the ocean at your back, so you don't have to worry that I'll go back on my word. What do you think? The four counties next to the ocean? Shangguan Hong's eyes glitter. Obviously his interest has been aroused. These four counties are linked together. If they all go to him, even if Ginda later wants to eliminate him, it will be a difficult thing to do. After all, when having the natural barrier which is the ocean at his back and holding the four counties in his hands, at least defending himself will not be a problem. Moreover, after the war, the Kin clan will probably not have enough power left to deal with him next either. Then if the Han dynasty takes advantage of this and attack, what can we do? Shangguan Hong continues to ask. Ginda stands up and says with a wave of a hand, you don't have to be worried about this. The Han dynasty will definitely have no chance to interfere. As for the Ming dynasty, I believe that weak kind of dynasty which has only got attacked and has never dared to attack won't ask for much. Shangguan Hong considers. After a long time, he nods, I promise you my support. But my two northern region counties troops definitely won't be the vanguard. Good, that settles it. Gindu and Shangguan Hong slap each other's hands to pledge allegiance. Ha ha. Kindu and Shangguan Hong look at one another and burst out laughing. However, nobody knows what these two men are actually thinking. Must a pledge made by slapping hands definitely be fulfilled? On the Kianlong continent, 
No one believes in making a pledge by slapping hands. Dot. The next day, in a manner, Shang Wen Hong is sitting at an escritoire and writing fast. Zhuang Jun is standing respectfully on one side. After a while, Shang Wen Hong finishes writing. He reads everything carefully once and cannot help feeling satisfied. Humphrey, that idiot kind who actually wants to rebel. He even wants to pull me into the water. Won't it be very good for me if I keep contentedly being North Vanquishing Prince? Four counties are also very attractive, though. What a pity. Looking at the sheet of paper on the escritoire, Shang Wen Hong cannot help bursting out laughing. Zhuang Jin on one side says, Your Highness, this skin clan's offer is not bad. Moreover, it's sincere. Are you really not giving them a chance? Shang Wen Hong turns his head and looks at Zhuang Jun. He then burst out laughing, Zhuang Jun, we can't lose. Do you understand? Therefore we must put money on both sides. It doesn't matter if the Qin clan wins or the Xiang clan wins, we'll always benefit. Zhuang Jun still does not understand. Shang Wen Hong gives a smile. Zhuang Jun is his most loyal subordinate and is also the number two man in the two northern region counties. He has saved Shang Wen Hong's life twice so Shang Wen Hong naturally values him to the utmost. Zhuang Jun, I feel certain about this matter. You needn't worry. You can leave now. Shang Wen Hong says with an indifferent smile. I take my leave. Zhuang Jun immediately leaves the room. Shang Wen Hong's face suddenly turns cold, deliver this letter to the emperor. A black silhouette suddenly flashes by and the letter on Shang Wen Hong's escritoire has already disappeared. Shang Wen Hong narrows his eyes and looks outside through the window. He thinks to himself, Kinder, you simply can't imagine the relationship between my Shang Wen clan and the Xiang clan. You can only blame your bad luck. Even if I don't help either side, how can your clan contend against the Xiang clan and the Mu clan? After the three eastern region counties are exterminated, maybe I'll gain some benefits. Shang Wen Hong's thinking is so optimistic but will the Qin clan entrust its help to him? Thanks for listening. If you like the video please press like and subscribe for more. Don't forget to support the original author so we can enjoy more of their books. See you in the next video. Love and peace. Windpei.